Hello and welcome to the first tutorial. I'm Philip and this video is about exact lines and muscle memory. Among other things we want to get rid of drawing like this because there is no need to draw these clear outlines with this unsteady and discontinuous kind of line. Instead we will learn to draw about like this. With some practice you will be able to catch the line perfectly at the first attempt. Notice the confidence and speed with which these lines are drawn and how much better it looks. Actually it's a quite different feeling but we will get to all of its benefits later. In this video I will talk about two experiences that brought me on the way of learning to draw these exact lines and I will show exercises to get a grasp on the subject. One obvious approach of learning to draw exact lines may be drawing very carefully and slowly. I used to draw that way often when I wanted to draw something accurate. I was constantly looking up and down to make sure the line I tried to draw was correct and I did it slowly and carefully, maybe almost fearfully and erasing when a part wasn't as it was supposed to be. Well. I don't think you can learn to draw exact lines that way. In fact, we will do the exact opposite. Once I saw a clip which I will show you in a moment. There was the artist Alan Lee working on the movie The Lord of the Rings and he drew window arches that not only looked like perfect copies of each other, but he also placed them on the paper with incredible speed. Here is the clip. The windows aren't as perfect copies of each other as in my memory, but for now let's pretend they are. I remember how impressed I was by that and of course I tried that too. And I want you to try it too. Draw shapes like that and draw them quickly and with no stopping or slowing down. Try to make them look exactly like one another and exactly like the original. I suggest you to stop the video and try it several times before I show you how I did it and we compare our experiences. When you are done with a series of these arches it may have looked like this. If you begin to draw it quickly it's very likely that you will overshoot the intended line by quite a bit. The solution is not drawing everything slower, but instead simply try to force your pen to stay in the track. If this slows you down a little that's fine, but don't slow down for no reason. Notice that the more the direction of the line from the original changes, the more you have to force your pen to do what you want. At the most extreme change of direction, which is an edge, you will notice that, other than what I told you, you actually have to stop for a tiny moment, or you can't avoid drawing out of the intended line. Notice that, and notice how it feels to keep your pen on the track you want it to be. Finally some of these arches already look really good. They are parallel side lines, the arches are symmetric. If in the end you are not as quick as the guy in the video that's okay and neither am I. The important thing is to get an impression of this feeling of forcing your pen and I think you can only perceive it when you start drawing very quickly. Of course you can do this exercise with any shape and I encourage you to do so. Just make sure the shape is about as simple as these arches and that it contains both smooth curves and edges. Before we go on to other exercises, I briefly want to talk about another experience. Once I was trying to draw hands and fingers, and I remember how hard it was to give them exactly the shape they have. I wanted to be able to draw hands from imagination, and so I redrew many hands repetitively. After a few days, the hands I tried to draw from imagination didn't look much better than before, but I noticed that my lines at redrawing hands improved a lot. Suddenly I could draw each finger with about the right length and proportion. I could fluently redraw fingers that really looked like fingers, well not every single time, it still needs practice, but this was the beginning. Previously the only way of drawing an okay looking hand was drawing it very slowly, carefully and with much concentration and maybe erasing some parts. But after that these lines appeared seemingly from out of nowhere. Once I heard the word muscle memory in some context and I immediately knew this was what I experienced back then. These experiences started a learning curve for me and I began to draw shapes like I draw them today. I'll describe it in a moment and it will be the second exercise of this video. But before just make sure that you made the experience of forcing your pen at the first exercise with the arches or other simple objects. What I started doing and how I basically draw today and what I recommend you to do too when drawing shapes is look at the line you want to draw and draw as much as you exactly remember in one motion without stopping. Or only stop shortly when you reach an edge. If you don't get it nearly perfect the first time don't erase or go again over that spot, but draw the second time from the beginning, until it looks exactly like the original. Concentrate on how it will feel to draw the line you are looking at, and when you know it, draw it in one motion. Varying your speed also helps to stay in the track, but don't stop when there is no edge, and don't do unnecessary slowdowns. For the sake of learning this, I actually think it's best to attempt to draw a shape with constant speed. After some practicing, you probably will notice that the variation of speed will come from alone, and help you to hit the shape even better. But again, I think it's the best to try it first with constant speed and quite swiftly. I suggest you to try this at subjects that can be drawn with a small number of such strokes, like for example this nose. Split the outlines up in parts you can exactly remember, concentrate and bring them down in one motion. 
Look at the line you want to draw for some seconds and then draw it without looking it up again. Just make sure the shape you want to draw is not very complicated or changes its direction too often. Try to draw a coherent line in only one stroke. Don't stop in the middle but try to draw it until it changes its behavior significantly, for example when it reaches an edge. Of course, there is no need to apply these exercises at drawings that are important to you and where you spend much time on. Just do it at short, small drawings or doodlings where you don't regret when you fail. If you go on practicing it, you will gain self-confidence and knowledge about which kind of lines you can already draw this way. On some lines you may think 3 seconds longer before drawing them than on others, but that's okay and the more you draw like this, the less you have to concentrate on how you have to move your hand to get a certain line. Muscle memory will do that for you. If you are not sure whether you can accomplish that, or if muscle memory sounds esoteric to you, then I can tell you, all of you already have muscle memory of a very similar kind. You all are already able to draw a set of small and complex shapes very quickly and accurately. I'm talking about letters. When you are writing a word, all these small complicated letters come out of your hand and you hardly even have to concentrate about the exact shape of them because your muscle memory does that for you. Another way of thinking about muscle memory is for example entering words into a keyboard. I'm sure none of your friends could type your email password even closely as quick as you into a keyboard. You did it so many times you probably don't even have to think about the particular movements of your fingers or which letter they hit. This quick and complex sequence is stored in your muscle memory. And so will the forms and shapes you draw repetitively like I told you before. But don't worry, this doesn't mean you are limited to shapes you drew many times. With some more practice you will be able to immediately adapt to any kind of line. If you are interested in the description are some videos of artists where you nicely can watch how they capture the shapes in this first try perfect result manner as I call it. Notice like they are varying the speed of their pen frequently. Often it even looks like they get stuck or have to draw against the resistance. Apart from them being on a whole other level than me, the way they move their pen is similar to as it looks when I draw. And it doesn't only look that way, it also feels like getting stuck here and there. I can feel the lightness or heaviness of a line. For example, when I focus on a shape of something of my surrounding, I often can imagine how it would feel to draw the shape, even without having a pen in my hands. This is what I meant in the beginning, when I said drawing like this is a quite different feeling. If you can draw this way, it's like lines aren't just series of dots anymore, but each line is connected to how it would feel to draw it. To give a summary, training your muscle memory will make your lines look much better, you can draw them much faster and it takes less concentration, which then you can use for other things like paying attention to shadows or contrasts or whatever. It's like you shifted the task of drawing lines from your brain into your hand. And by the way, I discovered all of this just in the recent 3 or 4 years, so this is nothing that lies very deeply or is too hard to learn. In the end, I want to give you also a general advice. Sometimes you can learn and improve if you do things really quick, so quick that it maybe even seems to be sloppy. However, this may make you focusing on the things that really matter and skipping unnecessary steps. Also, maybe you do some things slowly only because of customs, but with some practice you may be able to do them quick and with no loss of quality or maybe even increasing quality, like it is the case at the subject of this video. Several times I was making the experience that at seemingly dead ends I could improve and find ways by doing things much quicker than I initially would and this will always be an approach for me if I get stuck. So that's it with this video. If you tried like I did, please do share your experiences in the comments. And if you have your own thoughts and experiences with muscle memory, please do also share it. Happy practicing and see you in tutorial 2 which will be about drawing with the arm.